Hello, welcome, welcome to, to the graduated, graduated voice updates. updates. Be ready for the real tea. Details to tell. Well, the question is, where is Uhuru Kenyatta? As all as people are stating that he warned them against electing Ruto into presidency, but they did not. Listen, we are diving into more details that were shared about Uhuru Kenyatta that most of you did not know about him. And as we do that, really appreciate it. If you like this video, you can talk to us in the comment section and also share us out there. Tell someone about this channel and subscribe for more. Now, the current Jubilee Party leader, Sabina Chege, has made it has made things kind of clear concerning why they decided to elect a new leader despite President Uhuru Kenyatta still holding on to that position of being the leader. During an interview, she said that Uhuru Kenyatta, she revealed that Uhuru Kenyatta went mute on the members at a time that they needed him the most. And with that, they felt kind of forsaken since their leader was not responding to their cries. And so, the current rug goes that the fights they are having in the party are just a way of trying to revive it. And despite the fights and everything, Uhuru Kenyatta is no longer the party leader. Let me just quote her words concerning that. She said, quotations, it might look like we are fighting, but we are reviving Jubilee, and we respect Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta very much. He started the Jubilee party, but now cannot be able to go on with the party. He cannot. He can be a patron or something like that, but as part of the constitution, he cannot hold any political party position, and it's not as per us. Basically, those are just some exposed details concerning Uhuru Kenyatta that he has not been supporting the team and or he should not seem in public like he is in support of them but he actually is not. So some may feel that he has been too much in support of Raila Odinga trying to push him and all. He's actually forgetting his very own party despite them coming almost together. The grand revelation is just in that position. He's out, like overthrown in a way. You cannot say it directly like he's pushed out, but he has been pushed out of the party and all. He can't hold onto this position. He doesn't have much say and all. So let's see how Sabina Chegg is going to run all this and how she's running it already because she's saying that she feel she felt a lot of love having that high number of members that is 24 out of 28 choosing her to be in this particular position i don't know what is your take in regard to uhuru kenyatta's absence when he was needed you can tell me that in the comment section and remember that if it's happening and all about it and if i know all about it i'll tell you all about it so you can choose to like the video just out there and subscribe for more let's catch up on the next update